Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can connect your uh, HTML to JavaScript and kind of get started with the basics of uh, using JavaScript in an actual web page. So in order to do this, you can see here we just have uh, two files. We have an a, uh, a main.html and a main.js, and that's all we're going to need for uh, this tutorial here. So let's jump right into this. I'm just going to close this down so we got a little more room here. So the first thing we want to do is we got to scaffold some HTML. So I'm using Emmet, which is a uh, extension here. So I can just come in and say HTML like this and go down to HTML5 like this. And it's going to scaffold us uh, up a little uh, document here. So if you don't know about this, this is just the basic uh, kind of scaffold you'd use in HTML. And then inside of your body here, uh, is where you'd have all your markups, your H1s, all that different stuff. So what we want to do for this is we're trying to connect our JavaScript so we can start doing uh, some more interactive stuff using uh, JavaScript itself. So the first thing uh, that we want to do in here is we're going to come in and we're going to add a script tag in the head of our document. So we can come down below this title right here and we can just go like this and say script and we're going to go like this and you're going to get a uh, source or an SRC here. And then that's going to be equal to your JavaScript file that you want to use within this. So we're going to say equals, and then this is just going to be the name of it. So for us, that's main.js like this. And then we can just close this up and that is our script tag. Pretty simple. Now we can use any of the JavaScript uh, in our main.js right here in our HTML. So there is one keyword we're going to want to add to this, and that is the uh, defer uh, keyword like this. Now, basically what happens with the defer keyword and why we need it is basically you're going to download and parse the content uh, of the page, but you don't actually want to uh, run the JavaScript until the page is already loaded. So that's what this uh, defer keyword is actually going to do for us, because otherwise uh, your content, your uh, JavaScript might be running prior to um, the HTML and everything actually downloading. So that is uh, something you want to avoid. Now there's a couple other ways to do it. This is uh, a typical way, but you can also do it um, a little differently. If you don't want to download and parse the content and run it immediately, uh, you can also do an async method uh, instead of defer here. But we're going to stick with this uh, to get us going. So that is all we need to do. Now let's uh, run this, run this to the live server here. And you can see we just get this blank page right now. And that is because we have no content within our body here. So let's uh, add something in here. Uh, so we can add an H1 like this. And inside here, uh, we'll just say uh, test header. And if we go ahead and uh, save that, now you can see we got this test header showing up right here. So now we have something in here to interact with. Uh, let's go ahead and actually add um, an ID to that so we can access it with our JavaScript. So if we come in here, we can add an ID to that and that's gonna be equal to, we'll just say title like this. And let's actually come below here too and we'll add a, uh, a button as well. And we'll add an ID on that too. And that will say button. And inside this button, uh, we're gonna use this to remove the title using JavaScript. So let's say uh, remove uh, title like this. And then everything else we can do within our JavaScript file there. So that is uh, looking pretty good. Uh, let's come over and check that out. See, we just got this little button here and the test header. So that's what we're gonna be interacting with. I'll uh, bump this up a little bit. All right, so now let's come over to our JavaScript here. And uh, let's start by just getting the title. So we're going to say const, and we'll say uh, title. And that's going to be equal to uh, document dot. And we'll say get element by ID like this. And we'll pass in, we called it uh, title, I believe. And then we can come down below and we can actually do some actions on this. So this is uh, the syntax. You're gonna say uh, document.getElementById because we added that ID and we called it title. So this is gonna give us access to the actual title on our page. Then we're gonna come down below here and we can say something like title.style.color. 
Now there's a million things you could do, but we're just gonna change the color uh, to blue. So we'll say it equals, and we'll say blue like this. Okay, we can go ahead and save that and come back. Now you can see with JavaScript, we've changed this color to uh, blue of this. So that works well for us. Now let's say we want to go ahead and hide that title on a uh, actual button click. So we could do something like this and we could say const button like that. And this is gonna actually be where we get the button. So we'll say document dot get element by ID again. And here we just called it button. So that will get that and make sure we have uh, setting this like that. And then below here, we actually wanna remove this. So button dot add event listener like this and we're gonna say click. So on click, we're gonna do something within this. Uh, and instead of this here, we're actually just gonna create another function. So we'll go like this and we will say remove title like this. And that's gonna be the name of the function we're gonna create below. So we're creating a click event here and uh, on remove title, we're gonna actually do something. So then we can come down here, we can say function remove title like that. In here, we'll just say title dot style again, and then we'll say dot display. So we're hitting the display property uh, on the title and setting it to none, which will uh, remove it from the, or hide it rather from uh, the DOM there. So if all this is working well, we should be able to click this button. Uh, it'll call this remove title, which, which will in turn hide the uh, title from the page. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we got this here. If we hit this remove title, you can see now the title disappears just like uh, it should. So that is uh, just some very basics of how you can connect your uh, JavaScript to your HTML and uh, vice versa. So again, uh, we just need to hit this script tag here. We're gonna use the defer keyword here. Uh, and then we can just access all these different um, bits of markup here as well. So that is it for this. Hopefully that was useful and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.